last year, yes. which was quite a, a strange piece of filmmaking, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I mean, I uh, heard about the film about a year before Ben finally came back with me and, and gave me the script. It was interesting because I didn't know anything about what it was he was planning. But um, Amy had written this um, really wild uh, script, and we went and we filmed it in 12 days in a, a field in England. And it was uh, like a boot camp. It was quite grueling, but uh, very enjoyable to do. I absolutely adored it, and suppose when it finished, I didn't think, oh, this will be a film that's up for awards. I thought it was maybe perhaps a bit too abstract. So it must be great to know that it's been received from the public and critics alike. Yeah, I mean, it's genuinely uh, fabulous to think that it's um, kind of uh, people have recognised the kind of uh, the bold ambition of it. You know, it is a it's a strange film, and I think you kind of it's more about um, daring to push the boundaries of what you can do on film. You know, it's great. It's one of those films that feel like we've gone back in time and filmed it at that time like Holy Grail or, you know, Witchfinder General. I think Ben was really wanting to try and capture that kind of feel with the black and white. And this kind of surreal um, storytelling that takes place, you're never quite sure whether it's real or whether it's imagined in our mushroom-filled minds, you know. And I mean, it is very surreal, and it's also very dark as well. And I mean, in that respect, it's, there's a shades, obviously, of, uh, you know, Psychoville and League of Gentlemen. Were you able to bring any of your own input in, in that respect, or was Ben very much sort of, you know, in charge of it all? Well, I think... When we first met, we kind of got on very quickly, and I, I think maybe he thought that that would just be um, there in casting me to do it. So I think he's quite um, good in kind of getting the right, hopefully getting the right person to play the part, and then he, he kind of lets them go, and he you know, winds them up and, and gives them the opportunity to do what they want to do. It's not really, um, he's not coming in every five minutes going, you know, you didn't say it like this, you know. He allows you to do the work. Having cast you, he probably thinks you can do it. So having me, I think, he, he enjoyed the fact that I would kind of mine it for maybe darker elements. But it was all there in the script, really. I, didn't, I just had to do the, do the lines. And I mean, obviously, as, as, the, as one of the co-writers of the League of Gentlemen cycle, for example, is it quite fun sometimes to have let someone else do that part and just be, be directed for, for a change? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the best thing in the world is to be an actor in someone else's thing. Yeah, I mean, it's so um, liberating because I've got to be the best I can be, but it's not my responsibility at the end of the day, you know, if it's good or bad. I want it to be good, obviously, but it's someone else's... Um, worry that, it, that the whole thing um, you know, the other end the editing and all the rest of it that's all on someone else's shoulders so it's nice just to be that one element of it you know it's an important part but I, it's um, very freeing to just think I don't have to worry about we've gone over tonight will we go on a bit more you know will people come back and that's um, that's nice you don't feel the weight of responsibility as much when it's not your thing uh, just finally, uh, obviously we've seen you on stage often and on TV, uh, but films, is, are you hoping to perhaps do more cinema in the future? Is that somewhere you'd like to explore further? Yes, of course, yeah, I would love it. I mean, we've just done, um, we're still very much on TV next Wednesday. Our new thing, Inside Number Nine, comes out with Steve and I, Steve Pemberton and I have written, which is like a dark anthology of, like a Tales of the Unexpected type series with a different story each week. But I would love to do more um, movies, yeah. It depends if the parts are right, people think of me. Thank you so much well, for your time today, you. much appreciated.